what's up everybody welcome back to operation overhaul and i'm sitting in a 91 accord it had a check engine light the sport light was flashing the s light on the dash which is right there was flashing as well and it was having a hard time cranking the person said that it would crank try to crank up but it wouldn't and whenever they turned it off and turned it back on it crunk up but it started idling weird and I just wanted to show everybody how to check the codes on these OBD1 cars on the Hondas because it is a little bit different. It doesn't have like a OBD port or anything you can plug into. So if you would, just hang on and we'll be right at it and I'll show you how to do that. So, chum on. <laughs> Okay, like I said, to check this, there is, I'm in the passenger side next to the kicker panel right here. There is this blue connector. This one has a green and looks like orange or red wire. And the green connector probably has like, looks like a white stripe. But it should just be a two pin connector. And all you need to do is get a jumper wire, paper clip, something like that. I just use... A piece of wire with two split terminal connectors like this i just clip one end off of it same one i've been using for years on these obd ones like this and you just stick it in each terminal like that i put one in that side and one in the other side and then you go to the driver's seat and then click it to the own position and then you count the flashes um so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this in here and then I'll come back to you and show you what it looks like and then we'll go over to the driver's side put it in turn the key on and see what the codes are and I'll show you how to count the flashes all right like I said here we are we got this in the connector you just do it like that you don't have to clip off the ends I just do it just to make it easier for me it just makes me feel better I guess but like I said I've been using this right here just to do it you can use a paper clip or something like that too but I just like using a little piece of wire with two connectors on the end. But I just stick it in there, in the little terminal spots right there. And then we'll go over to the driver's side and I'll show you what the flashes look like. Okay, I'm gonna stick the key in the ignition. You can hear it. Just turn it to the on position. And you see it flashing. Those are fast flashes and then it'll pause. And then there's one long and two too fast. So let's count the fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, code six, one, one, two, two, code six and a code twelve it looks like. And it'll keep redoing it if there's any more. Like I said, that it'll do the short flashes and then it'll do the long you just count each one of them like if it's too long and four shorts so that'll be a code 24. if it just does like three short flashes by itself that'll be like a code three but in between each code there'll be a long pause like you can see right here see how it stopped and now the long flash comes on so it looks like we have a code six and a code 12. What I'll have to do is look up, see what those are, and then I'll get back with you. Okay, so I'm back, I got the codes. So a code six is a, looks like an uh, engine coolant temperature, temperature code. So it could be either a sensor or it doesn't see that the engine's getting warm enough or it's getting too warm or something like that. So we'll have to, check to see if there's like a sensor problem we'll check the sensor we'll check to see if there's any wires or the connector or something itself like that and it could be something else as well and then the code 12 says that it was a exhaust gas recirculation code so the egr system has a code we'll have to check to see where the sensor is for that and then check the sensor and the wires and all that good stuff and we'll just go from there but um like i said this is how you check the codes on a 91 accord is what this is on these early model hondas that are obd1 
but if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and hit that notification bell this is just going to be a little quick video that i wanted to do but uh i am going to do a diagnosis on this and we'll see what it is so y'all have a good day